When in doubt, never roll down your window. I don't care unless they have like warm chocolate chip cookies and you know what I mean? They're like, hey, these fell out of the back of your trunk. Then you accept those. But other than that, you never roll down your window for nothing. Hey y'all! Hello, hello! It's me, Lauren. It is me, Jamie. Welcome to the What Are We Doing podcast, episode 22. We just got about 10 seconds into our recording and really? we had to restart it. We messed up that quick, so Lauren this is, is gonna like, be fun. Lauren's like, don't you have a little spiel? I'm like, well, I feel like every single week I'm like, wow, guys, I can't believe wow. we're on wow. episode awesome. XYZ. Excited. Yeah, like, we literally do this every single week. We're trying to reel it back, yeah. and, uh, and I wasn't having it. I was like, go off, Jamie, do it, do your thing. I'm like, what did you do this weekend? She's like, wait, what? What? We're giving that ahead? Yeah. Oh my god. Anyways, y'all, we're feeling 22, and um, what did we do this weekend? We we hung out on Friday. You we wanna, did. You want to start? We did. We went to Wormhole mm -hmm. for the comedy show. That was my first comedy show, so it was so fun. We had a really good time um, doing that, and your friend Amelia, she didn't end up performing, though. Yeah, um, we thought that she might be performing, because I saw an Instagram post. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to Amelia. Um, but Jamie got to meet her, and uh, her boyfriend did a a set oh, and uh, so, so it was wonderful all the comics were really good and yeah. uh we do have to talk about we literally almost died after the show like oh this was insane this is no joke so we yes. were standing right in front of the wormhole and like bowl street is right here and we just hear like <laughs> like <laughs> i hurt my throat actually i was gonna say that was pretty good that's what it sounded like super loud mm -hmm. and we were like trying to cross the street headed over to like lone wolf and um we like look and at first I didn't even see anything and then we saw it coming. It was yeah. a car with its lights off yeah. flying. Like I'm talking like 65 yeah. miles an hour down Bull Street and the noise we were hearing was their bumper. Bumper just dragging across the road and then oh they like God. whipped into the parking lot of the gas station and then I'm pretty sure they ran into the oh, building. They backed Did they into, run into the building? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They whipped into the like gas station parking lot, backed into the parking spot so fast that they hit the building <laughs> and we were like, oh. Yeah, oh. he got out and was like looking at his car. So I don't really know what happened on Friday night. There was definitely some kind of hit and run. For sure. If you experienced a hit and run on Bull Street, we can be your witness. Yeah. We saw the car. We, we saw the incident. But it was crazy. He got out of the car and just like looked at his bumper like, oh, Whoa, what's up what with happened? my bumper? <laughs> I'm like, did you forget the part where you almost killed us in the street and I, hit the building? <laughs> like, what? We seriously, like Lauren and I were like shuffling across the street. We're like, oh, God. Oh, I like, what's happening? happening? Yeah. Somebody across the street was like, why y'all running? I'm like, <laughs> Did you not see I'm that? <laughs> oh my God, yeah. Why are you running? So that was insane. Um, yeah. We got some really good late night food at oh, Over Yonder. Their fries. Unreal. Yeah. So Unreal. good. And then, um, what'd you do Saturday? Um, I was on the couch all day. <laughs> Your new couch. My new couch. Jamie has a couch. Yes. <laughs> I have a new couch. I finally have bedding. You know, we're a month into being there, but we are. She just now got the thriving. couch. Yeah, I um, we went to Costco. I have been mm -hmm. to Costco before. I went one time and got the black card. I'm obsessed with it. Um, and then Cameron had never been, so I dragged him to Costco, and we did a whole lot of nothing on Saturday. It mm -hmm. was amazing. I know. It was yeah. really nice. I kept falling asleep on the couch, then waking up, and I'm like, oh, I'm just going to go to bed. I binge <laughs> Euphoria that day. Oh, my gosh. I am, I'm totally hooked. Totally I, hooked. I need to start season two so that we can be recapping mm -hmm. it like as we go and as episodes come out. I got I got to rewatch season one, probably. Yeah. I like, forgot all the horrific details of that show. Yeah, it's pretty intense, <laughs> honestly. Anyways. Um, so that was our weekend. Um, and before we get into it, we have a fabulous guest coming on today. Yes. Um, so we're so excited. But before mm -hmm. we get into that, um, y'all know what's up. It's time to talk about Cutwater. Yes. Cutwater is a line of award-winning canned cocktails, y'all. They are made with actual liquor, and they taste great. They do. This week, we're sipping on one of our all-time favorites, the Cutwater White Russian. Oh, Ooh. listen to that click. This <laughs> drink is an elevated twist on a classic, all mm -hmm. right? And it, it abides by the old school recipe, okay? It does. It's award-winning vodka with coffee cream liqueur and big notes of vanilla and chocolate. It's Amazing. freaking good. We have gone on about this at that hockey game. We were drinking these. Oh. I was just going to say, this really is the perfect drink for a hockey game. Mm -hmm. Like, it is electric. It is 14%, by the way, guys, so let's just be a little... A little hesitant. We don't need to be drinking multiple of Proceed these. Proceed with caution, but you Proceed. can. Listen, I, you can. I'm here you to can. say, if you're if you can handle yourself and you got a snack, you can drink these all day. <laughs> if you got a snack, yeah, that's yeah. not a chicken tender with yeah. lettuce. on They that, are but. wonderful, though. I will say, like Cameron and I on the weekends, like whenever it's chilly outside, we open one of these and put it over ice, like mm -hmm. in like one of our cute little yes. cups. It's wonderful over ice with a straw, without a straw, whatever you want to do. It's really, really good, though. Yeah. It's very good. It's very, it's refreshing in a way. Like it, 
tastes like a milkshake in a can, but it's not thick like a milkshake. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The texture is like. Hold on, let me reset it. Let me just let me reset. Let me just try it again. Milky, but in a good way. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Not in a nasty way. Not alcoholic. Not milk in a way. gross way. Anyway, anyway. you guys definitely gotta try try a white Russian. Yes, and, and if you try a white Russian, please tag us, y'all. We're like obsessed yeah. with cut water. We want to see y'all out here drinking them. Tag seriously, us. Seriously. Tell us your crazy cut water stories. Please do it. Please <laughs> do it. Okay, guys. We are so hyped about this this week. This every single week we say that we may have had our favorite guest, blah 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 blah. Mm -hmm. But this one was really, really special. Jamie, who it do we was. have on the podcast today? This week, guys, drum roll, please. <laughs> we have Heather McMahon. She's a comedian and actress from right here in freaking Georgia. Mm -hmm. She is a Georgia peach, people. She has a new podcast called Absolutely Not that is described as creating a safe place for us to tell all and bitch about the rest. Word. No topics are off limits, quite literally. We have listened to it ourselves. She actually has a show coming this Friday to Savannah, so you need to check that out. We talked to her a little bit about the show, but also her podcast. Yeah. She is wonderful. She is wonderful. Let's she is just, wonderful. Let's get into yep. it. I hope that you guys like it. Three, two, two, one. one. So you're coming to Savannah, obviously, on February 4th yeah. for the farewell tour. How's it been so far? Um, I mean, listen, it feels so good to be back on the road and telling jokes and being back in front of live audiences again. It's so weird the last, like, two years, right? It's like, what what the hell happened, right? <laughs> but, like, what is going on? It feels like th these last couple of years have, were centuries ago, but also yesterday, and we're technically still living in this craziness. So it just, I think now more than ever, it feels good to just be back and laughing and have that human connection again. Um, because we've, we've all been through some things, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. <laughs> we've, it's been through it. we've been through it. Yeah. That is so good. So far on tour, do you have a favorite memory yet? Or are you still waiting for the perfect moment? Oh, I mean, listen, there, I get to travel and see so much of America and there's so many cool things that have happened, but favorite memory. Um, honestly, everything's pretty much food related. I, the, <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm such a, uh, a restaurant snob, if you will. So we basically, my team and I, we map out, we go to each city like a day early and we map out like the top restaurants in America and we try and get in. So we'll literally like fly in a day early just to get a tasting menu somewhere in like Columbus, you know, I mean, yes. we really, we really plan it out strategically. So basically eating my way through America has been pretty great. Oh my God. Okay. So do you know already where you're going to eat in Savannah? Yes. Yeah, so we have a reservation at the gray, which is the spot. Now I would, I'm open to any suggestions. We're really only in Savannah for, you know, 24 hours. So anything you suggest, let me know. I, I'm down. Oh my Whoa. God. You know, I we just do. did a full dinner at this place, Ardsley station. It's new. Right. And they literally cooked the whole menu for us the other day. And it was all amazing. That's it what was... I do. I, I say, I want the left side and the right side of the menu. <laughs> and then when they bring dessert, I see. I have this theory that we could go out and have dinner and have a good time because I have a theory. Even if you're full and you don't want dessert, if you're at the table with somebody and they bring over the dessert menu and your friend or this new acquaintance says like, oh no, we're good. We don't even want to look. You don't need that kind of negative energy in your life. And you need to not be friends with that person anymore. So, Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. Literally yeah. only friends with dessert people. Sorry. Yes. Literally. There you go. You have yeah. to, you got to have someone that has that sweet tooth that is like, listen, I know we're full. We got to keep going. We got to yeah. keep this train moving. Push it around. Yeah. Um, Push it around. Okay. So speaking of food, uh, we yeah. want to get into your podcast. Absolutely not. It's hysterical. And we just listened to this week's episode and your story about nukes with yeah. the sweet tea had me rolling because I went to Mississippi state. So I was at nukes you get it. Mm -hmm. every Sunday dying in that booth. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, what's great about nukes. It's a great spot, right? It's a great, like fast casual spot. We have them all over Georgia now, but I would show up to nukes hungover after a football weekend. And then I would get two like gallon sized sweet teas and could not understand why I put on like 30 pounds my freshman year. You know, I mean, it was, I was like, it was insane, but I lived off the chicken salad sandwiches, the sweet tea, and then like the pizzas. And I just didn't understand why, you know, my jeans didn't fit by Christmas. I couldn't figure right? it out. It's <laughs> Where did these pounds come from? This is right. insane. Crazy. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That is so funny. Yeah. We were talking about it this morning. Even like the nail salon part, I've never laid yeah. into something so much like, uh, is the water good? Um, no, it's actually burning my feet. I'm like, oh, no, yeah. you're, good. you're good. No, no, you're good. You're like, I, I lost, I la literally lost like the top layer of my foot, but no, no, it's fine. I'll, 
I'll just let my feet, you know, boil in this water for a little bit. Yeah. It's so good. How do you come up with things to talk about on your podcast? Mm-hmm. You know, I want to say that there is some like professional algorithm that I figured out that I have really thought this through. It is honestly me usually in a hotel room, whatever city I'm in. And it's just a stream of consciousness. I just kind of roll with it. Um, you know, my, a lot of my comedy is super observational and I talk about, you know, what I've experienced in my point of view and perspective, but then I just end up on a tangent and then like 40 minutes later, I'm like, who listens to this podcast? (laughs) Good, good, good. It's also relatable. Um, and so on your tour for people who are going to go see your show in Savannah, what can they expect? Mm -hmm. So my um, tour is, I mean, it is 90 minutes to two hours of just straight entertainment. Um, I, you know, introduce some of my characters that people know me for, and it's a good hour and a half of stand up. It's really just a great time. Um, bring your girlfriends, bring your husbands, like just come out and laugh. Uh, there's no subject that we don't touch, but it's really just breaking, like peeling back the layers of what we've all been through in the last two years and just being like, we're all in this together. Like we've all been through a collective trauma. Why not move through this together and giggle? This is what we need now more than ever, which is to laugh. I so agree with that completely. Honestly, during your show, I was asking Mm -hmm. more of this earlier. I'm like, I wonder if she has a favorite skit that she does or like a favorite joke that you like to tell. Do you have one? Oh, for sure. There, there are specific jokes and it's a high that I would say most comedians follow. Like, you know, you have that one killer bit where you're like, once you get that laugh, it's like the greatest feeling in the world. There are definitely things. I mean, I've done this, been doing this show now, um, for quite some time. And, you know, we, we change things up every night. We add new jokes, we try new material, but there are definitely some favorite ones. I won't tell them. I won't tell you what it is though. Cause I want you to come and experience it, but you can tell when I'm really laughing at something myself on stage, I'm like, (laughs) That was a good one. Pat myself on the shoulder. <laughs> that is my favorite part of a comedy show is when you kind of break character for a second and yeah. laugh at yourself. That is, yeah. that is the best for me. Yeah. At least. yeah. Again, I said, I'm super professional. Um, just wait, just, it just the utmost professional entertainer you've ever seen. I mean, I'm giggling the whole show. So. Oh my God. When, um, when did you decide that you wanted to become a comedian? Like, how did you know? Were you just funny from the second you were born or how did this kind of work out for you? Um, I realized after I took my SATs for the first time that there was not a lot ahead of me in the sense of, you know, uh, math or science. So I really had to tap into that right brain of creativity. I mean, I was always a funny kid. And then I got a cool opportunity to um, roast the senior class as a junior in high school at prom. And my peers were like, this will be such a funny surprise. And I did like a 30 minute stand up routine and I crushed. And I remember thinking, if I can do this in the most awkward time of your life, which is high school and roast your peers and it, it, it like fill you with joy. And I, I just got that bug. I was like, I want to do this forever. So um, yeah, I've been doing it since high school. Oh my wow. gosh. That's yeah. so cool. What a confidence boost. I'm like, like 17 and have like an auditorium laughing at you or well, something. Especially when it's like the class above you too. I feel like that's even more so. Yeah, and nobody wanted to beat me up after prom. They were all in on the joke, so that was good. I didn't, I didn't get it too many enemies after that. Yeah, not too personal. Oh my no, 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 no. That is funny. also. Is I have a question: Who yeah. is this older gentleman that keeps walking by in the background? Please tell Come me. Here. Yeah, I'm dying. Can we bring him in? Like, who is we, this guy? <laughs> Let me be honest. We literally said we had it turned the other way because we're like, yeah. you know, someone's going to be peeping in the door, and then for some mm-hmm. reason, when y'all joined the call, it just like zoomed out like fish eye the whole camera I think oh no i love it i love it that's such a southern thing though like <laughs> that the, the gentleman who's walking back for people who can't see this when they listen to the podcast he's just in a salmon shirt and khakis <laughs> like what, what are these pretty girls doing in there that just that brought me so much joy you have no idea that's his, I, yeah that's his uniform salmon yeah, shirt, sure. khakis, maybe navy and he, shirt Khakis. Yeah, and then he has New Balance sneakers on, and he usually wears like his golf club hat. That's that's everyone's grandpa. I love yep. it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he's our he's our work grandpa Seriously. for sure. In the office, it's like all like women under thirty five, yeah. and then him. Yeah. And we're like, yeah. Dad. And then yeah, and him. honestly, you need somebody like that in the office who just keeps an eye. He's like, hey, is anybody's blood sugar low? Do y'all need an iced tea from Nukes? You know. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you need. That's that's oh the South, God. baby. That's we the tell South. him everything, like things that are way too personal oh, yeah. at work. We tell yeah. him, yeah. And yeah, you know what? Does. He probably is just a great shoulder to cry on, and he's like, "I got you." You know, yeah, I, I got your is. back. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I love that. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I love that. So I feel like we need to, so Jamie, like we keep talking about like Southern things. And I know that that's mm-hmm. like a big part of you. yeah. Jamie's yeah. from upstate New York. And so she yeah. has had a crazy experience moving to Savannah. She doesn't understand what we're talking about. She doesn't understand what we're eating. Yeah, she mentioned, <laughs> right. she's like, have you, what is it called, Nukes? Yeah, yeah, that's what we were talking about earlier. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. what she mentioned me. And she's like, have you ever been there? I was like, I genuinely have no idea. Do you guys have Nukes in Savannah? No. Mm-hmm. Okay. All the right. Callisters. Close. Oh, yeah. I love the McAllisters. But listen, anything that you need to find or explain, I am your girl. Because my, I'm married to a New Yorker. My husband, who's like this, like, loud Italian from, you know, um, the suburbs of New York, he st- he's moved now to Atlanta. <clears throat> Excuse me. And he just doesn't understand half the things either. But he's assimilating. Like, he j- he's, he's in it and he's trying. But he does have a lot of questions, too. So I'm here to help you. <laughs> Oh yeah. I've literally been here for two years. I'm finally picking up saying y'all all the time. So I've been doing good yeah. with that, but every single day we have this running joke that I learned of like a new food. I had peach cobbler for the first time when I moved down here and like, oh. I know. Okay. But it's- also side note, my mom is a dietitian, So like, oh, yeah. So you're not eating peach cobbler. Right. <laughs> But you know what, on the other end, I'm Italian, even though, you know, even with the last name McMahon, my mom's Italian and I grew up on like meatballs and chicken parm. So it doesn't matter. Even if she's a dietitian, you all are still eating heavy up upstate New York. Yeah. You're still doing your thing. Uh Yeah. Yeah, We are learning slowly, but surely, but it's a process. I'm telling you. Okay. So we, you can veto this, but we do have an absolutely yes and an absolutely not. If you're right. willing. I'm up. Let's okay. do it. Let's do it. Do you oh want to take gosh. the absolutely yes one? Okay. So our absolutely yes is Lauren taking shots with me on a Sunday when I needed some post breakup drinks. Okay. <laughs> I yeah. never drink on Sundays. And she came over wearing these moccasins and like yeah. sunglasses and navy on black sweats. And I was like, Jamie. What do you need? And she's like, I need a drink. And <laughs> next thing I know, she's ordering five shots and I'm taking it like a freaking jam. <laughs> there you I'm go. I'm like, screwball shot, please. Lauren's like, are you okay? I'm like, no, but we're going to go with it. We're going to be good. <laughs> no, no, no. And I got to be honest with you. I, I, I can't really hang on a Sunday fun day either because by Saturday at like 2 a.m., my body's broken from a weekend of shows. But I'll tell you what, I recently had a Sunday fun day back in Austin last week, or sorry, Dallas last weekend. And I, I didn't realize, sometimes it's like chicken soup for the soul. Sometimes you just need a fireball fireball shot for the soul. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You get it. You got it. You got yeah. it. I'm telling you. Okay. So we're absolutely not. I don't think that you're going to have much advice necessarily on this, but I, we just have to tell you about something crazy that happened. Um, okay. <laughs> so yes, no, two days ago, I was sitting at a red light and mm-hmm. this guy next to me, like probably 30 years old was out Heather, one foot out of his car, recording me through the window. I was doing nothing weird, just sitting there at the red light. And then he goes trying to get me to roll down the window. So I said, absolutely not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will not be doing that. Do, now, do you think, was he angry or was he just seem like a perv? I, you know, my instinct tells me it was a per vibe, but like, the, yeah. you know, the optimist in me wants to say, oh, maybe he was like putting me on TikTok for being so cute or something, but I don't no, no, think that's the case. No, 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 no. I was wondering if maybe like, cause I'm like, you know, I, listen, I hate to play into the stereotype, but I'm not a great driver. So I don't know if like, maybe you were coming over a hill, cut him off. And then mm-hmm. he was trying to get you. Or if he was just like, saw you coming over the hill and he's a total perv and was like, let me get a photo of this chick. When in doubt, never roll down your window. I don't care unless they have like warm chocolate chip cookies. And you know what I mean? They're like, Hey, these fell out of the back of your trunk. Then you accept those. But other than that, you'd never roll down your window for nothing. No, no, no. Fell out of your trunk. Listen, yeah. For that, every- that happens to me. I always have like a red velvet cake that's on my roof that I forgot to put in my car. <laughs> it's sad, but that's happened to me more times than once, you know? <laughs> Okay, look, that's the takeaway for all of our listeners. Never yeah. roll down the window. Don't roll down the window. Don't roll Don't down do the window. It. Unless it's for baked goods. And then absolutely <laughs> allow that pervert to get in your car. <laughs> right, right, right. Or it's you with the red velvet cake. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Oh my God. There you go. I love that so yeah. much. Um, so I kind of just have one more question, unless you got anything mm-hmm. else. No, I think I've asked most of mine, honestly. Um, why should people in Savannah spend their day with you at your show? You know what? I'm, I'm a good old Southern Georgia gal. You know, I get it. You're my people. I'm your people. And why not? Let's come together after the hellhole of the last two and a half years we've been through and spend some quality time together and giggle and take your mind off things. Come have a cocktail, bring your friends, your family, and let's just have a blast. That's why. And also 
you got to support the local gals. You know what I mean? If I'm a Georgia peach, you got to su- support your Georgia peaches. Yes, oh. you do. There you go. That's my sales pitch. She <laughs> <laughs> said. And and scene. (laughs) Look, where do we sign? (laughs) I know, honestly. Oh my gosh. I feel like y'all promise me when I come in town next week, I think we're going to come down a day early. We all send me a list of all the places I need to eat and and all the lunch spots. And I need like a full rundown because I make the most out of each city I go to. So if I'm there for 24 hours, I want to do it right. Yeah. hundred percent. Do you like, do you like pimento cheese? Yes. Duh. What do you think? It's in my, okay. like, literally, I just got blood work done and they were like, there's thick pimento in <laughs> your veins. Yes. Of course. I love pimento cheese. Is that a question? I'll send you the wreck. I'll send you the wreck. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, good. Look, peach cobbler, pimento cheese, deviled eggs, you know, just loose ham, just pieces of loose, warm ham. That's Southern baby. That's what we do. <laughs> Woo, that sounds amazing. I love it. Um, yeah, we'll definitely do that. Okay. Heather, where can, where can people find you? What do they need to know? So everybody can find me doing the most on the Instagrams. My handle is Heather K like Kardashian McMahon and everybody can find uh, tickets to my show at Heather on tour.com. I'm coming to a city near you. So I can't wait to be in Savannah. Nice. Yay. So we're very excited for you to be here and thank you for talking with us today. This is oh so my God. Girl, it's so I, listen, I'm out on the West coast right now. So it's so nice to talk to some friendly faces back home and I cannot wait to be in Savannah. And thank you guys for taking the time today. Yes, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, thank y'all, you. y'all have a good one. Bye. Yes, you Bye. too. Bye. Okay, I'm sure you can agree with me on this, mm-hmm. but although she's a celebrity, I felt like she was our friend from the oh second we got on the phone. She was so casual. She was like putting your hair in a ponytail whenever we first started recording. <laughs> she's like, so cute. She's so nice. Mm-hmm. Holy crap. She mentioned about dinner, and I was like, wait, is that like our invite to go to dinner with you? Are we going to go? I mean, hang twist, out. Twist our arms. We'll go. <laughs> <laughs> we will definitely do it. For real. But yeah, guys, definitely check out her show uh, this weekend. Mm-hmm. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. She's amazing. The show will be amazing. And I really want to know what the bit is that she cracks cracks herself up at you'll have to go laugh your ass off with heather mcmahon right done all right jamie jamie for the 22nd time (laughs) what are we doing what are we doing lauren (laughs) it's everyone's favorite segment what are we doing y'all of course this weekend what are we doing on thursday the third Mm -hmm. the dead south the twin tangler tour is here okay get ready for some banjos and men wearing white shirts Black suspenders and traveling hats. Amazing. That's hot. <laughs> <laughs> the Dead South is a four piece acoustic ensemble playing at seven o'clock on Wednesday and Thursday night at Victory North. Yeah. So yeah. not one, but two nights, and they have different sets each night. That's amazing. That if is you go cool. twice, that is some dedication. Two different shows. Oh, That's put really some cool. I'm into that. Mm-hmm. All right, next for Friday the 4th, it is First Friday in Starland. Join Dreamhouse Studios for a special Valentine's Day edition of First Friday. Love that. We're getting into the spirit. Very cute. Love will be in the air for guests. Oh, my Lord. Love will be in the air with guest artist Emma Fisher of Bad Witch Nails and No No Flores creating live portraits of you and your lover. Maybe they'll do some even if you're alone. Oh, a single portrait? Maybe. Well, oh, yeah. my God. No, we talked about this a little bit before the recording, um, but whenever you get a live portrait done, they, like, flip it around, and you're like, are you serious? Yeah, what is this? That's what you think of me? And then you notice, like, what features, like, really stand yeah. out. You're like, oh, my God, I want a nose job now, if that's what you saw when you looked at my face. All right, guys, so sorry about that. You know, noises. We had to cut out for our favorite seafood truck in town. Yeah, <laughs> just real quick. Anyways, we're going back to Friday the 4th. We just told you about First Friday in Starland. Now we're going on to the YMCA Kreitz Tybee Run Fest. Ooh. Get your sneakers ready. This is a two-day event, so it's gonna start on Friday, which is just the taste, guys. The kids run will start at 6.15 p.m. and then the 5K will be at 6.30. Then rolling into Saturday, that is the real test. There will be a 10K, a half marathon, a 2.8 mile beach run, and a one mile run. That's a lot. So many. Take your pick, y'all. So many. All the races will go on between 7 a.m. and 2 p.m. that day. That sounds fun. All right, y'all, happening on Saturday the 5th, we normally don't love anti-Valentine's Day parties, mm-hmm. but this one sounds very fun. It's the anti-Valentine's Day party with Join the Fight, wait, Join Fight the War Within Foundation at the Grand <laughs> Lake Club at Southbridge. All right, y'all, your ticket includes one signature cocktail. Make sure you dress to impress or, or not. <laughs> the party starts at 7 o'clock. Also happening on Saturday the 5th, it is the 12th annual Chili Cook-Off. Ooh. This contest will take place from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Savannah Harley-Davidson. Come compete and see if your chili is the best. There will be prizes for first, second, and third place winners. And it's only $1 to be a chili sampler. Amazing. That's where, I, oh my God. Eat as that's much where chili I as be. you want. Yeah. 
Also happening on Saturday the 5th is End Market Arena Community Day. Community Day will feature a variety of activities for the whole family, including live music from local bands, carnival style games, and market arena tours, activities for kids, and more. The festivities will start at 2 o'clock and will go until about 6 p.m. Finally! Finally. <laughs> Hello! We've all been, like, dying to see this in Market Arena, so literally. go check it out get you a tour. That'll be really cool. Literally. And speaking of finally... And our final day for you during oh my the What God. Are We Doing segment. It is Riley Green at the End Market Arena on Sunday, people. This yes. country star, beautiful, beautiful Riley Green, was rescheduled from last month and will perform for the first ever show at the arena on Sunday. Very cool. Lauren will be there. Mm -hmm. May catch her there. Finally, we have Super Museum Sunday. This is really big in Savannah, so get ready, folks. For both locals and visitors alike, you can experience our city's history and culture at historic homes, Historic sites, excuse me, house museums and art museums for free from 12 to 4. That's amazing. Right? I mean, literally, like almost every museum in Savannah, I think, participates. Yeah. And you can just go check them out for free all day Sunday. That's right. really, really cool. Yeah. Why not? Yep. Honestly, definitely do that. Love. All right, Joe, as usual, we want to uh, shout out our Starlin Yard happenings. Thank you again to Starlin Yard for always hosting us here. We love you. Mm -hmm. um, looking ahead to next week on February 11th, Starlin Yard will host their Valentine's Day party. Chris Grimmett will be DJing and hosting a singles mixer. Interesting. Jamie, you <laughs> should come. Breaking news. Yeah, I guess we actually haven't talked about that. We on haven't addressed yet. this on the podcast, Jamie. What do you have to say? Um, newly single. Shiz happens. It be like that. It be like that. It be like that. Jamie's on the market, y'all. <laughs> I'm serving as her manager. If anyone's interested in dating Jamie, send me an email. Send your applications. <laughs> Kidding. Oh my God. Okay, so we have a few housekeeping things. A lot of things are coming up. So for those of you that are wanting to empty out your closet or wanting to get some good clothes while you're balling on a budget, come to our balling on a budget shopping day event. Hey this is going to be at Three Points Food Court on February 26th from noon to four o'clock. It's literally a day full of shopping. We're gonna have 20 vendors, 20 local closet vendors, which mm -hmm. is amazing. They'll be selling their clothes. Everything will be $50 or less. It's a BYOB event, but there will be, of course, complimentary cut water Free at the event. Cut water, y'all. Come on, guys. Oh my God. Come on. <laughs> if you have some things you want to get out of your closet, we are taking applications for you to be a vendor. Mm -hmm. So send an email to ballin on a budget sav, S A V, at gmail.com. We need those by February 12th. Do so, not wait. Do not. Yes. DM us and let us know if you want to be a vendor. We already have five people, there's only 20 spots in total. Mm -hmm. So get those in super quick. Um, other housekeeping notes, we have beanies now, okay? You've probably seen this on Instagram, but we now have What Are We Doing beanies available mm -hmm. for $20. Yep. Um, they're super cute, they're super warm, mm -hmm. and it's freezing outside this time of year. Yep. So uh, send us a DM to place your order. Yeah. Yeah. Done. Um, other little housekeeping thing, uh, we touched on this last week, but um, my campaign for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society does kick off this month. Um, yes, whew, I am like grinding, kickoff is on the 17th, and so I'm like just trying to get everything prepared until then. Um, but one of those ways that you can support is to actually come to the Ballin' on a Budget um, mm -hmm. event because a portion of your entry will actually be donated to LLS, which is huge. Nice. Um, but in case you missed it last week, Jamie and I are on a team together. Um, I am leading Team Bad Blood to raise as much money as possible for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society this year. And uh, we've got 10 weeks to do it, so if you mm -hmm. or your business or your grandma, your dad, literally <laughs> you and anyone you know um, wants to, you know, help and contribute to that, send me a message. There's, you know, obviously donations, there's sponsorships, there's going to be an auction I'll need things for. Nice. So any way that you could imagine that you could help, I promise you, you can. So yeah. send me a message. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I love that. I'm so excited for yeah. you. Yeah, definitely, definitely do that. To kind of end the podcast today, we always want to shout out our sponsors and our partners, Starland Yard, Cutwater here. And I'm not going to forget it this week. Make sure you follow us on <laughs> social media. Past two weeks, I've forgotten it, literally. We're on there. <laughs> if you want to DM us for a beanie, anything like that, follow us at What Are We Doing Sav. And also make sure to follow our paper at Connect Savannah. If you have any events, if you want to sponsor an episode, you want to be a full-time sponsor like Cutwater. Oh, and what we forgot, which what? we said we weren't going to, we need your dating Valentine's Day story. Do not. If you've turned the podcast off already, I'm so mad at you. Listen <laughs> to this. 
Our Seriously. Valentine's Day episode is next week, and we need all of your date stories. It yeah. doesn't necessarily have to be Valentine's Day related, mm -hmm. but we're just looking for any kind of fun, crazy, crazy. sweet, any kind of yeah. stories about dating, mm -hmm. romance, Valentine's Day. Send it to us. Yep. We want to do a full read of like all of y'all's crazy yeah. stories. And it will be anonymous because some people have crazy horror stories yes. that, of things that have gone wrong on dates, whether it's a first date or like your boyfriend of a long time, boyfriend, girlfriend of a long time, either yep. one. Send Craziness. us your crazy stuff. We'll we'll block your name out. We're yeah. so excited. Yeah, send those. So what are we doing? Sav at gmail.com. We are so yes. excited. Do you hear those. this train back here, you guys? I do. That's the train blowing on the horn I'm saying, saying, send in your dating stories. Please. Send it in, please. Yes. Please. Yes, please do that. Yeah, send us an email, follow us on Instagram. We are over 700 followers now, so thanks, guys. Thank you. Awesome. We love it so much, and we will see you next week for Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. You'll have a good weekend. Bye, guys. Bye, y'all.